way. How are you? I'm fine, but how do you know if I'm telling the truth? <laughs> Because we lie about that, don't we? When you're feeling miserable, don't you just to be nice, say, I'm fine, thank you, I'm fine. Now you say, though, there are ways that you can just look at a person and, and there are what you call the tells. Well, there are ways you can tell if someone's in conflict, meaning something just isn't going smoothly inside them. And some of the ways you can do that is by looking at their eyes, looking at how they use their hands or keep their hands from moving. We may see that in some of the people we'll look at. Uh, if they try and point at you for emphasis, they're warning you, you better not call me a liar. <gasps> Bill Clinton. <laughs> yes. I do not have sex. Wow, that's a tell? Well, well, interestingly, Bill Clinton, generally his most famous gesture is thumbs up. Rarely will you see him point. And when he's pointing for emphasis, what he's basically saying is, stay away from this. Leave me alone. Also, he, he's known all the for time. looking Do into you? the camera. No, Bill Clinton is known for looking into the camera. He's great at that. And in the piece of tape you show, he looks away. It's kind of tough to look at people that you've betrayed in the eye and speak to them. We will go. Is there something about if you, if you look up, that means yeah, something? Uh, if you look down, that eye means something? Eye movements can be revealing. If you look down, it, it may be that you're hiding guilt or shame. You're looking down like, oh my God, they caught me. If you look up, you may be just thinking about your answer. If you look to the side, as President Clinton did, it, look, it looks like you're being evasive. Uh, if you look to the side. I, I want to ask the audience, though, when any of you have lied, and I assume some of you have, <laughs> um, and how many of you know when you're lying and you have sort of an internal experience? You, you feel something's going on. It's just not right. Raise your hands. It's your conscience. And if you have one. No, unless you're, <laughs> unless you're a skilled actor or actress, or a it's, got, it's got to be revealed in some way. Doesn't it make sense that, I mean, w when you have a sour stomach or a headache, it, 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 it's got to show itself in some way, in some area. So it does make sense that there would be certain things revealing something that's going on inside you. Uh, but something that you do see with a lot of people, and you'll never look at people the same way after I say this, but eyes and mouths often reveal conflict. If you uh, when you see a young child who hasn't learned the guile that all of us have learned, uh, their eyes and their mouths are in sync with each other. If you, if you cover the eyes or mouth and you look at either, uh, for adults, you'll often see something different. Our eyes basically check and scan to see if it's safe. It's like you're looking, is this a friend or a foe? And often your mouth smiles like this, as if to say, oh, there's nothing wrong. No, I feel really comfortable, He's but right. your eyes are always scanning and checking. And what happens is when you see a full face like that, it, it disarms you. And since it triggers something that all of us do, you don't see the conflict. But if you looked at your driver's license when you first got your license, you probably will see it being in sync because you were so excited to get your license. Mm -hmm. But if you look at your driver's license currently, you know, I resent having my picture taken. Why can't they take a good picture? I gotta show this to people. And, and, and what you'll see is this sort of smile like yeah. this or, or no smile and your eyes are just glaring at the camera. Well, now that